everybody, Tim Norris here, a.k.a. Grey Elephant. And Carmen Norris. And today we are going to play... Splendor. Okay, this is by Space Cowboy, but it was sent to us by Asmodee Games. And we're going to do a live play, but we're not going to play the whole thing, okay? Now, a full game would go to 15 points, but we're just going to play to 8 points and uh, make it a little bit quicker. But at the same time, you're going to get a good full understanding on how this game actually works. So, without further ado... Let's get to it. Okay, so we've got everything set up here for a two-player game. Uh, first off, we have our three levels of the development cards. They're denoted by these little dots, and that's the difficulty of how hard it is to obtain the card based upon the dots. So these are easier, medium, super hard to get a hold of. We have our tiles here, which represent the jewels that we're trying to acquire. And these numbers right here uh, tell us how many of the jewels it takes to be able to acquire them types of gems. We have our nobles that are up here that hopefully we'll be able to obtain. And keep in mind, we're just going to play a half a game, which we're just going to play to eight points, and that should give you a good enough idea on how this game plays. So, rules do state that the youngest player gets to go first, so Carmen, I will defer to you because you were just turned 21 today. Um, <laughs> congratulations. So, Carmen, by all means, uh, take the lead. So, okay. um, on your turn, what you do is you get the option of taking three gems of cut and color. Now, one thing to keep in note, mind of too is that um, in a two-player game, uh, three each of the colors we remove three each of the colors out of the game. So, um, one of the options is that you could take two of the same color of any type of gem. But in a two-player game, it won't work because if you do that, the rules state that four gems have to be left over after you do that. Well, that's impossible to do in a two-player game because there's only, I believe, four gems of each color. Now, these golden ones, uh, we'll show you how those work later, but you cannot just naturally take a golden one. That's a special action that you have to take as well. Or you're going to be able to, and then the other action is that you're going to be able to um, acquire the cards and place them in front of you. So, Carmen used an action taking one of each. So, you can't take two of the same. So, I will take one blue. I will take a black, and I will take a green. And Carmen, it is your turn again. Um, so typically what we're going to do is we're always going to be starting with the lower cards and work our way up. And uh, that will be demonstrated here real effectively soon on why um, we'd be doing that. Um, the other thing is that you can never have um, more than 10 gems in your hand. Uh, so if you ever get more than 10 of these, you have to discard back down to 10. So, so I pay 2 white, 1 green, and 2 black. And I'm going to take this okay. card. And that will immediately be replaced. So Carmen's action was that she uh, was able to obtain this card. Now, this card is always going to count as one red gem to her. So if we look around, say this one needs two, two red gems here. Well, she's already got one permanently, so she would only need one of these. From the stack so that makes it just a little bit easier as you build up so uh, I will take one blue one black and one white so Carmen it is your turn again three six nine ten and I have ten exact so okay um, let's see I'll go with green okay, okay. and for me I will purchase, uh, I will go with this um, blue one here. So I'm going to discard all three of my blacks and I'm going to grab this blue card here and place it in front of me. Flip up the next one for Carmen. So Carmen, it is your turn again. Okay, let's see if I can get that one. White, blue, green, and red. Yep. So now she's got the black one. Now to keep in mind, I believe there are five different colors um, which are represented by all the gems. And then this one here will count as a wild card. But like I said, we'll show you how that works whenever we get to that. Which shouldn't take too much longer, I don't think. Um, so I will grab a white and throw it on the ground, or at least try it to attempt mm -hmm. to. I will grab a black and I will grab a blue. That way I take all the blues. Ha ha ha! Now he can get either one of these. So I should try to take one away from him. <laughs> yeah, and... If she does do that, then she'll demonstrate the other action that you're allowed to take. But, uh, Up here see. in the upper right-hand corner, is, uh, the uh, upper left-hand corner, is the victory points that each one of these um, cards will give you. Um, and then plus the nobles. Now, the way the nobles work is that they have a select amount of resources listed here on the left-hand side. And what they're saying is, is that the first person to get three blacks, three blues, and three whites cards in front of them they're going to obtain this um, noble, which each one of them is worth three victory points. Uh, so you're all finished up? Yes. Okay. 
Um, I think what I will do then is I will spend two blues and one green and one white and I will obtain this green one right here and we'll replace that with the new one. Go ahead. Okay. Well shoot, I can't afford that one. <clears throat> um, I can do two black and one white and uh, grab this blue one here. Okay. All right, so we've got a blue and a green. I need a red, which I don't have, and a black, which, eh, conveniently, you do. <laughs> I'd have been able to grab that yep. white one, which would have been nice. Um, unfortunately, that really stinks, too. All right, well, I'm going to grab a red one, and I think that I will grab a green one. Go ahead. Okay, well, I don't have any green, so that's keeping me from getting anything. Uh... you got to get four for that. Well, three more blacks. Is what you well two more blacks is all you need actually. I'm thinking. Uh, let's see if I could get lucky. And I'm gonna take a card. Okay. So she is going to just draw a card off the top of the and deck. And that gives me a gold. Which and we'll, acts as a wild. Right. So the gold could represent any one of the colors of gems. Now she could have also taken any card from the field as well and still gotten that, but she just tried, decided to draw blindly and take this one. So. Um, but what she did allow me to do is I'm going to be able to obtain this white one now by spinning a red and a black. So I'm kind of glad she did that. So go ahead. Okay, so that costs two blue and two red. I can do that. Okay. Now I have a green. <laughs> now you got a green. All right. And then I'm going to spin these two white right here. And I'm going to grab this red one right from there. So. Oops, excuse me. Putting them in order. For right later. there. And, and putting them in order for the notes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, it is your turn again. Oh man, I am not doing well. Well, we're actually pretty equal, dear. Um, the only thing is, I have a white one, but you have a a black one, and I don't have a black one. So okay. oddly enough, that's all that's separating us. Um. So I'll go red. So you got a, are you done? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So I am going to go a blue, a black, and a red. Go ahead. Okay, so. All right. Now you got your white one. Yes. And I have my black one. <laughs> so we are 100%, but I got a point for that one. So that's cool. So okay. I only need seven more points, and I win the game. One, two, three, four. All right. Free. Free. <laughs> okay, so let's see. That blue one, I just need to spin a red, and I can get that blue one. And then if you notice now, like what she did, she's got two green ones. I've got two blue ones, so it's going to make it easier for us to obtain some of the other ones. And that's how we start moving up the ranks here um, to get some of the more yes. difficult ones. Well, uh, I could grab that blue one. I think I'll go for that one, so I would just need to spin one green. No, you've got two greens already. Oh. And a red. Well, you I get don't it for know free. What I was thinking. I don't okay. either. I shouldn't have told you. I should have let right. me spin it. So, if I wanted to, I could get this third blue. I would just have to spin one green and one black. So, I will do that and I'll grab this third blue here. Okay. Okay. And then it's your turn again. Um. There's another black one. Wow. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Can't sit and think too long. <laughs> Let's see. I think I'll go for a bunch of greens and reds. All right. You didn't take two reds that turn, right? Just making Did sure. Did I? I don't know. I'm checking. Did you? I might have. Um... Okay. Okay. Uh, and I will go a green, a black, and a white. Go ahead. Okay. So three greens, two reds, and two black gets me this one. Okay. So you spent a red and a green, right? No. Pardon me. Mm -hmm. And you only got... 
Oh, yeah. Two. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> just making sure you're not cheating too much. And that gave you what, one point. It's just not letting me get I angry. know. You I'm... really are trying hard. And I'm sorry I keep having to be like, no, you're not going to do that. I'm going to grab this one here. Go ahead. So one point apiece. Okay. We're cruising. Okay. It's... Two points for me. Woo! Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> so I need to get a white... And I will take a, no, I don't need blue. I'll take a green, and I will take a black. Go ahead. Okay. Let's see. Red, green, and blue. Okay. Um, I'm going to take a white, a red, and a green. Go ahead. Two, three, four, five. I want my red. So, red, <laughs> blue, and what else do I want? Mm. Nothing. I want black. I'm going to spin my two whites. That way I can get this one here. Go ahead. Okay, so five greens. Oh boy. And oh, for three reds. Oh, nice work. You have to make a new stack for greens. There we go. All right. Let's see. Um, I've got two whites and I've got a blue, so I'm just going to take this green right here. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, let's see. Um, need one red and one white. Stack up the blues and see what happens. Hmm. Okay. Well, I've got, let me see, three blues. I've got two reds and three blacks. And then I'll get this one here. I wanted that one. Ha, ha, That's ha. what I was getting stuff for. Yay, me. So mean. I like taking your stuff. Okay. Well, I can get that one. Nah, you can't. Give up. <laughs> so that gives me two points. And I need to add a black to that because I only have three. Okay. Okay, let's see. Um, so what are you at? You're at one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh boy, and I'm only at two. I'm going to have to start doing something here, I think. Okay, so I've got two black, I've got three blue, and I've got two white. So I'm going to grab this one. All right, go ahead. Okay, um, I've got four white. Oh boy. Does that give you seven? Seven. Oh boy. All right. Let's see. I've got three blue and three green, which isn't going to do me a lick of good. Oh man. I need another white one. Oh boy. I can't get any of these nobles. Let's see. I've got a spectacular end planned. I'm happy that you have a spectacular <laughs> end planned. Because mine's like falling apart right before my eyes because I can't get anything. All right, well, um, I guess that there's just so much of the same stuff. I'm going to go with this one, this one, and this one. Go ahead. I'm going to put that down, which gives me four blacks. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Did you pay for it or is it already paid for? It's already paid for. Okay, all right. My other cards. So. Well, I got three reds. I've got the black and I'm going to grab this and place it here. Go ahead. Okay. Alright. And are you all done? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to spin my two blacks. I'm going to get this one here. Now that gave oh. me, if I see, three Three and three, so this noble will end up being mine as well because I have he three blacks. He does this every game. I do it every game. It's great. I, uh, so I have three black cards. I have three red cards. I have three green cards. So this noble visits me. So that gives me three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And because I was second player, that will end the game, and I win. And that was my plan. Ha! Exactly. Ha! That card ha! and that noble. Okay, so that's how you play Splendor. And, and, and one thing to keep in mind 
is that we play just eight points. A normal game would be 15 points. So even though I was able to get to eight points first, unlike Carmen who only got to seven and I was able to win this, in a typical game we still would have played out to 15. <laughs> You can see that in this game, you have to pay attention to what your opponent is doing. It is a race, and what Tim did was exactly my plan for my very next turn. And so all I would have had to have done is pay attention to what he's doing, grab that card. Should have taken the so card. So he couldn't have had it. Yeah. I could have grabbed the card and gotten a gold, and then I would have been able to play it on my next turn. If you would have taken the card, that would have prevented me from winning, because that was a five point, or seven point. It was no, five, five. five. Yeah, five it was a five point, point turn, yeah. that, that one yeah. turn. So, um, hey, but that gave you guys a great feel on how the game actually plays out. And that's really the purpose. It doesn't matter who wins. It just matters if you guys understand now how the game plays. Even though I did win, it doesn't matter. Right? right okay. Right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anyways, um, now we do have a review that's going up as well. So I highly recommend you go check that out because we are not going to give our opinion. You must go over there and see what our opinion is. Plus, we're going to go into the rule book a little bit deeper and give you a bit more of the nuances of what goes on during the game. So without that, is that it? Anything that's else? That's it. Awesome. See you there. Go check out the review. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.